Good day to all of you. The lessons that will be discussed in this module will help you understand solid figures. The module is divided into three lessons and this is lesson two. Differentiates solid figures from plain figures. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Compare the characteristics of solid figures and plain figures. This is lesson 2, differentiating solid figures from plain figures. All the things that we see around us are associated with shapes. And the way we name a person in order to differentiate them from the others. We also need to learn the terms that we will be using in order to differentiate the plain and solid figures around us. As discussed previously, Solid figures are three-dimensional figures because of its length, width, and height. Solid figures like prisms and pyramids are called polyhedrons because the faces are polygons. These kinds of solid figures have faces, edges, and vertices. Face is the flat surface of a solid figure Edge is a line segment formed when two faces meet and vertex or vertices are point or points where the edges meet. Some solid figures like the cone, cylinder, and spear have curved surfaces and has no edges. Can you name the following solid figures? Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Let us answer number 1 and 2. For number 1, spear. Number 2, that is a cube. I'll give you time to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Time starts now. How many faces does a cube have? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, the front view, 5, and the back view, 6. There are 6 faces in a cube. For number 7, how many edges does a rectangular prism have? Let us count the edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 edges in a rectangular prism. I'll give you time to answer number 8, 9, and number 10. And time starts now. Do you help in cleaning the house? Why? Martin helps his sister in cleaning the house. He started cleaning in the living room. While he is sweeping the floor, he noticed the different shapes inside the room. He wondered which are the plain figures and which are solid figures. Plain figure is a geometric figure that is flat, whose points lie on the same surface. It has no thickness, only length and width. That is why it is called two-dimensional shape. It can be composed of a straight line, 
curved line or both straight and curved lines. Solid figures are figures that have three dimensions such as length, width, and height. How do we describe a solid figure? Let us look at the characteristics of the different solid figures. The solid figure on the left has faces or sides that are polygons. These faces meet at edges, which are line segments. Each end point of an edge is called a vertex. Plane figures are characterized into two. Open figure and closed figure. Open figure has at least one end point and one side is not connected to the rest. Example of these are line segments, curb, and angles. These are examples of open figure. While closed figure has no break, the line segments or curves are continuous forming a closed shape. A closed figure has an area and perimeter. Examples of these are Closed figures are further categorized into polygonal plane figures and non-polygonal plane figures. Closed figures or polygons are bounded by line segments. These line segments are its sides and the endpoints of the sides of a polygon are its vertices. Polygonal plane figures are closed figures formed by line segments. A polygon has at least three sides. Examples of polygons are triangle, quadrilateral, pentagonal, and all the n-sided polygon. Example, triangle. Quadrilateral Pentagon Non-polygonal plane figures are plane figures that have curb, sides, or edges. Examples Circle Ellipse and other non-polygonal Planes. Solid figure, on the other hand, is a closed figure that has three dimensions, the length, width, and height. The following table shows illustrations of the different solid figures. Solid figures with straight faces. The solid figures above have sides called faces. When these faces meet and form a line segment, it's called edges. And its end point of an edge is called a vertex. These are prisons, cube, and pyramid. While solid figures with curved faces The solid figures with curved faces have no edges. The cylinder having two circular bases and a curved lateral face. 
a cone which has a circular base and a curved surface pointed towards the top or apex. The spear which has all points with equal distance from the center forming a curved surface. Let us compare pin figures and solid figures through the given table. Line figures, two-dimensional shape, flat, has length and width. Examples, while solid figures, three-dimensional shape, thickness and depth. As length, width, and height. Those are examples. After learning about the difference of plain figures and solid figures, we can help Martin in identifying the terms he will use to categorize the shape. The plain figures the placemat, newspaper, window, and calendar. While solid figures, those are tables, TV, and vase. Write letter P if it is a plain figure and an S if it is a solid figure. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number one, that is plain figure. The second picture, that is a solid figure. Number three, that is also solid figure. So it's time to answer number four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'll give you time to answer those items. And time starts now. On a sheet of paper, write plain if it is a plain figure and write solid if it is a solid figure. Number one, shoebox. Shoebox is a solid. Number two, floor tiles. Floor tiles are plain figures. Number three, ball. Ball is a solid. I'll give you time to answer number four to ten and time starts now. Arrange the jumbled letters to form a word used in our lesson. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Number one, that is lane. Number two, solid. Number three, polygon. And now, I'll give you time to answer number 4 to 10. And time starts now. Copy the statement below on a sheet of paper and fill in the missing terms to complete the sentence. The figure which has only two dimensions is called plain figures. The figure which has three dimensions is called solid figures. Classify the following if it is a plain figure or a solid figure. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Circle, that is 
plain figure. Cone is a solid figure. Rectangle is a plain figure. A sphere is a solid figure. So I give you time to continue this activity. And time starts now. For your additional activities, look around your kitchen and draw at least two real objects that are plain figures and two real objects that are solid figures. Put your drawings on a sheet of paper. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa muli, huwag kalilimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo para sa ating mga bagong videos. Pwede kayong mag-like at comment at share ang ating videos para sa iba. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!